Sienna, and I'm so excited to be your host. This episode is jam-packed. Puppies, basketball, and heaps more. Strap in, everyone. You're here for a wild ride. But first, let's do some quick questions. If I would go anywhere, I would go to Hamilton Island because it has a good beach. And it's only a couple of hours on the plane. Something I've done in the past year is go to SeaWorld. I really liked looking at the dolphins because they were so beautiful. I would really like to live in the city. Heaps of things you could do, like go on Ferris wheels and go to South Bank. My favorite animal is a dog because they're super playful. Let's hear from some kids who are showing love to their fairy friends. Hey everyone, I'm Caden and I'm a massive fan of dogs. I have a dog and his name is Mojo. He is turning nine this year and he's a mini fox terrier. Mojo brings me so much joy just because he's all around such a funny dog. Something that Mojo always does is, for some reason, he howls whenever my parents call my name, and it's very loud. It sounds a little something like this. Even though he does his own things, I still really love my dog. Hi, I'm Archie and this is my little brother, Bucky. We have two dogs, one's a Cocker Spaniel and one's a German Shepherd. They're both 11 years old. My dogs are called Hugo and Dougie and they like to lick us a lot. I have a bulldog named JJ. He's the best doggy in the world. Here's another bulldog named JJ. I'm here to tell you about my dog, Lexi. She's a bundle of fun and she's only two years old. My brothers and I share her and we play with her all the time. Something crazy that Lexi does is she's always nibbling at our hands. And she even steals our socks. (gasps) I still love her, she's so cute. And yeah, she's just a bundle of fun like I said before. Hi everyone, I'm Maya and I live on a farm and we have lots of animals, but today I want to tell you about our four dogs. Out of the four dogs, my favourite dog is our little puppy named Luna. She is a red cattle dog. If you're unsure, this is what a cattle dog looks like. Basically what a cattle dog does is round up all the cattle on the farm and moves them. I love watching Luna interact with the other dogs. She has a really big outgoing personality. Hi, my name's Emma T and this is my brother Maxton. We love dogs. I really like small dogs. I like dogs with fight fur. I will want a boy dog and I don't call him Saucy. <laughs> oh, look at all the cute faces. I now see why they adore their puppies. Speaking of adoring things, Kissy is a regular patient at the hospital. When she's not at the hospital, she's shooting some hoops in the court because she is the biggest basketball fan. Hi everyone, it's Kissy here. You may also know me as Queen of the Basketball Court. Recently, I just went head to head with superstar Josh in the ultimate basketball quiz. Josh, it was so fun playing with you at the quiz. Just make sure to hit me up for round two, because I'm going to beat you (laughs) now. When I'm playing on the court, I get a massive adrenaline rush, and I love it. And guess what a little birdie told me? Kissing Brisbane Bullets are coming to visit you in the hospital. Pretty sweet, right? I don't think the Bullets have what it takes to beat me, queen of the basketball court. But I'm super excited to find out. Let's go.
thank you guys so much for coming today. And Mandy, I got a question for you. What made you pursue your career in basketball? Thanks so much for having us here. It's so good to be here and to share a little bit of your journey as well. And great question to start. So my basketball journey started when I was about eight or nine. My dad played professionally here in Australia for the Newcastle Falcons for two or three years back in the 70s and 80s. And I was always kind of tall as a kid, so naturally trended towards basketball and wasn't very good until I was about 18 or 19. So I had a bit of a, of a slow journey and introduction to the sport, but it turned out okay. So Kissy, that's a little bit about my story. I also hear you're into basketball. Thank you, Mandy, and that's right. I've been playing ever since I was a little girl, but I need to learn how to do a few tricks. So Georgia, over to you. What's your favorite trick to do? I really like to do an up and under, so dribble to the basket, jump stop, <laughs> land on two feet, pump fake, step through, try to get an end one. But you can't do it every time, otherwise the defense is gonna know what you're doing. So yeah, that's my signature move. Whoa, Georgia, you need to teach me that. So Tana, you're one of the Brisbane Bullet players and I've got a question for you. What is your pre-game ritual? Kissy, what a great question. My pre-game ritual, I don't really have anything too complex. Basically, my thing is just eating at the right time. I usually like to eat and have my pre-game meal about three and a half hours before the game tips off. Um, and that's really about it. I'm trying to be relaxed before a game so I don't try to overthink too much. Um, just kind of take it as it comes. Just trying to be as relaxed as possible. Kissy, you're a hooper as well. What's your pre-game ritual? I like to listen to Miley Cyrus pumping up to Party in the USA. JD, you've coached all over the world. Which country is your favorite? You see, um, I've been fortunate to coach all over the world. Germany, Japan, Belgium, but I would have to say Australia is my favorite. Brisbane's been amazing. Sydney's been all right, but Brisbane's the place to be. Well, Kissy, we've heard you're an amazing basketball player, and we're here to give you a bit of a challenge. Sounds good, let's do it. game with a challenge called Bullet Shootout. The rules are simple. You shoot a hoop, you get a letter, and the first person that spells bullets wins. All right, Kissy, none of us quite made it to bullets. It's your turn now. Let's do it. Give me a B. Give me a U. Give me an L. Another L. I need an E. P. And now for the X. Oh boy. I got this. 
Kissy, you had our number today, but thank you so much for inviting us to the hospital today. Uh, it's been a great time, we've had so much fun, and we can't wait to see you in one of our games this upcoming season. You guys are legends, and so are you guys. If I had a lifetime of Skittles, I'd eat them all. Um, I'd give them out to people, kids in need that would want them and hand them to people like that. Hmm. I would have one like, I don't know, like every two days or just every, one every day, I don't know. Uh, so firstly, I'd eat them, obviously and then I'd probably build a massive tower out of them and then I'd eat that tower. Well, it sounds like everyone wants to eat Skittles. Honestly, I would do the same too. Yummy! If you like this video and you want to get involved, send a email to the team now. My name is Sarah and thanks for watching Juice TV. Bye.